Hey everyone, it's Daniel from NAC here with a quick NAC tip. Today I wanted to talk about field grouping on form and detail views. So here we have a warehouse manager app and I wanna edit this inventory purchase details view. Uh, so I'm gonna open this view to edit it and let's come in and we want to add some fields. Uh, so to add some fields to your views, we just drag and drop them. Um, you can also just click them and as we do it, uh, they're going to come in as a single column. Uh, but if I want to add more columns here, we can start with the layout. So right now I have just a single column layout, but I can also add a layout with a small column to the left and a longer column over here to the right. Um, maybe you have an address field that you want to display as a map um, that would work well over here in the bigger column. I can also split this into a 50-50 split. So these are just uh, two columns that are split evenly. Um, so as I add more fields over here, I can actually split these columns up further. So what I can do is I can come in and I can add a whole second column right there. Or if I want to, I can actually add a individual column split on a single row. Um, and then I can even come in here above and add a whole new row above that. Uh, so there we have a much more dynamic grouping of fields on this details view. Uh, but let's check out a form view too. So I'm going to save these changes. I'm going to head over to this add inventory purchase uh, form. We already have a few fields here. Um, you can see they're just kind of coming in as a single in a single row, just like we, we saw on the details view. Um, let's add some inputs. So we can drag these over the same way that we did with the details view. Um, and as I drag them over, you can see I can do the two column split, um, or even a three column split, um, as well as bring them in on the top like you saw with the other one. So maybe I want to have um, different fields up top up here um, that are separate from these bottom columns. Um, and another great way to break up your, your um, form as well as your details view, this is in your details views too, uh, but you can add static elements. So here we have a title and a copy. So what that's gonna do is just really allow you to add in a title and a description. So we can just say um, maybe section one, and then we can say, uh, this is section one. Save those changes. Let's open that back up. And you can also add in a divider element. So if I want to add a divider here, um, it's just going to be a horizontal rule, just a divider to break up your form. I mean, you, and you, again, you can add this to your details view too. So let's save these changes. And then let's check out what these look like in the live app. So let me refresh here. We can see that we have the warehouse manager app. Um, this is the details view that I was working on. It's split up into a couple different columns here. Um, again, I'm just kind of doing this quickly to show you, but as you um, build it out for whatever your specific needs are, you can kind of customize this further. You can add in um, titles, you can add in dividers to break this up further. Uh, and let's go ahead and check out that form too. So let's just go back a page. Uh, here we have that inventory, uh, add inventory purchase form. Um, you can see where there's that section and description uh, title and, and copy that I added, as well as that divider right there that I added. And then you can see the bottom down here was split up into multiple columns. All right, well, that's it for today. Thanks for joining and happy building.